ಜಯತಿ ಪರಾಶರ ಸೋನು ಸತ್ಯವತಿ ಹೃದಯ ನಂದನೋ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಯಾಸ್ಯ ಕಮಲಗಲಿತ ವಾಂಗ್ಮಯಮೃತ ಜಗತ್ ಪಿಬತಿ ಭುಜಗ ಭೋಗಾಭ ಮುದ್ಯಮ್ಯ ಹೃದಯ ನಿಜಭುಜ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಲಕ್ಷಣಾಢ್ಯ ಲಲಿತ ಮುದ್ರಿಕ್ತ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಮುದ್ರ ಭಜ ಭಜ ಅನಂತ ಮಿತ್ಯಾಲಪಂತ ಪ್ರಣತವಾನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಿನ ಪ್ರಾಣಭೂತ ಪ್ರಣತಿ ಪ್ರೀಣೇ ಪೂರ್ಣಬೋಧ ಭವದವೋಷ್ಣೇನ ತಾತಪ್ಯಮಾನ ಭುವಿ ಪರಂ ನಾಥಮಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಮಾನ ಭುವನ ಮಾನ್ಯನ ಅನ್ಯನ ದೋಷ್ಣಾತು ಭೀರ್ಮಾ ಇದು ನ ಸಂತ್ವಯಂತ ಪ್ರಣತವಾನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಭೂತ ಪ್ರಣತಿ ಪ್ರೀಣೇ ಪೂರ್ಣಬೋಧ ಅನ್ನಾತ್ ಭವಂತಿ ಭೂತಾನಿ ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯಾತ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸಂಭವ ಯಜ್ಞಾತ್ ಭವತಿ ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯ ಯಜ್ಞ ಕರ್ಮ ಸಮುದ್ಭವ ಕರ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಉದ್ಭವ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಸಮುದ್ಭವ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಸರ್ವಗತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿತ್ಯ ಯಜ್ಞೆ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಿ ಚಕ್ರ ನ ಅನುವರ್ತಯತಿ ಇಹ ಯಹ ಅಗ ಆಯ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಆರಾಮ ಮೋಘಂ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಸಹ ಜೀವತಿ ದ ಎಬೌ ಶ್ಲೋಕಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಸಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದ ವೀಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ವಿ ಈಟ್ ಸಸ್ಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ವಿ ಈಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಾಯ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಸಸ್ಟೈನ್ ದ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಗ್ರೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಯಜ್ಞ ವಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸಸ್ಟೈನ್ಸ್ ದ ರೇನ್ಸ್ ದ ಯಜ್ಞಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕರ್ಮ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿವ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ is the inspirational force behind our actions or the karma thus we have the causal connection bhagavan causes people's action which causes yagna which causes rains which causes food which sustains life to understand such brahma vedas are the source of knowledge Vedas help the humans understand and realize Bhagavan. The causal wheels are fully connected as follows. By the knowledge of the Vedas and introspection within, one has the potential to realize the existence of God who is the inspiration for all the actions of people. which in turn result in the yagnas that causes the rains which in turn causes the growth of the food grains in the fields which in turn provide the food for the humans for sustenance on earth to explain how yagnas cause rains one needs to understand the word yagna yagna is an act of worship it is an offering to the lord any act of worship of the lord is a kind of yagna for example before we have food we offer the food to the lord performing pranahuti we offer food to the five pranas that sustain the agni or the fire inside our stomachs the five pranas are ಪ್ರಾಣ ಅಪಾನ ವ್ಯಾನ ಉದಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮಾನ ದ ಡೈಜೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಗ್ನಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೀಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಟ್ ಅ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ for the various parts of the body to do their actions the bhagavan that resides in us maintains the balance of the pranas for our jiva to function normally the pranahuti before we have our meal is an act of offering to the bhagavan in us 
Thus, the food we consume is a form of yajna which sustains us. Bhagavan Krishna asks us to do our actions in the spirit of performing a yajna. Thus, every action we do is an act of dedication to the Bhagavan. A popular morning prayer has the words Sarvam Tvad Aradhanami Abhuyadi. Here we praise the Lord and wish that every action honors Him. It means, let my every walk be an act of pradakshina for you. Let every prostration be a namaskara to you. Every utterance be an act to remember you and every thought be your dhyana. Thus, our entire living becomes a yajna. How is this yajna related to rain? Let us look at the conduction of traditional yajna. A yajna is a fire sacrifice. The act of worship by yajna involves an offering of various things like rice, ghee, payasa, etc. To the outsider, this may appear as being a colossal waste. However, the amount of food offered in the yajna is a tiny portion of the food we consume after the yajna. Thus, the yajna is a symbolic act of worship of Lord Agni. For example, the farmer has to spread the seeds in the field to grow his crop. The seeds are the actual grain from his previous harvest. It will appear as if it is a wasteful exercise to an outsider since he is throwing grains to the ground. But without the seeds, his next harvest cannot happen. The seeds he sows become a crop that fills up the farmer's granary and a small portion of the grains become the seeds for the next crop. Thus, the returns from the offering significantly exceed the offered amount. In today's world of consumerism, we see many advertisements for various consumer products which proclaim the virtues of the products so that the viewers get enticed into buying the products. Companies spend a substantial amount of money in creating these advertisements. But the company's returns are huge since many people purchase the products only after seeing such advertisements. Thus, the offering of ghee, rice, etc. during a egna is an offering to Bhagavan. In the olden times, farming was like an act of miracle which depended on the external elements, mainly rain. The fire sacrifice was to appease the lord of the rains to get the water needed for the seeds to sprout and yield the farmer's bounty. What was the importance of fire? The fire was considered a very pure or a pavitra form of Bhagavan. In Vishnu Sahasranama, the following shloka appears. Pavitranam pavitram yo mangalanam cha mangalam. Bhagavan is the purest of all forms of elements. He is the light of all lights. The purest visible element of the five basic elements, namely earth, water, fire, wind and space, is fire. There is a lot of dirt on earth, so it cannot be considered pure. Water is a cleansing element, but water when mixed with earth becomes muddy. Fire is the only element that is considered 
very pure. The ancient folks prayed to the god of fire by performing yagnas. The offering of ghee, rice, etc. to fire is to appease the Bhagawan in the fire. Such a yagna performed in the right spirit grants the wishes of the people present during the yagna.